Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today for a Craft Supplies One Design Team Project, my third one for the month. And Julie currently is still running a sale on the parchment flowers. All parchment flowers are buy one, get one free. There is no coupon needed, so when you purchase one, she will add an additional one in your box. She also has a Zibit and Etsy store, so I will put the links to both the stores in the description box below. And she just recently added tons of new product. Lots of new flowers, some new laces, um, leaves, just tons of stuff. So I hope you go by and check it out. And her prices are really reasonable. I think you'll be surprised. So. Again, the links will be in the description box below. And I'd like to share with you quickly just a few of the items that I used on my design team project today. This gorgeous lace. Let me zoom out just a little. And this one has like a, a cream center. I love this. I also use, which I have had these for a while and I use these all the time. This is a doily. And look how large that is. It's six inches in diameter, I believe. And the detail on this is gorgeous. So I believe, um, I'm not positive, I believe they come with three of them. And I use them all the time. I cut them apart and use them. And they really have lasted quite a while. I also use this clear bead trim and it's it's actually iridescent isn't that pretty I used this quite a bit today I used one of the key charms I love these I used one of the flower bead caps I love these as well and there's a few other items that I use that I no longer have any of so I'll show you as we go, but I use some of this white cotton lace, which I love. She has several different types. And I use this silver mesh bling, the flower. I love cutting these apart. This has lasted me a long time. This is my original amount that I got, and if you follow me, you've seen I use this a lot. I used a doily from the large doily pack. Again, I cut these apart and use them. So these last quite a while, too. You get a whole bag, and I believe they're only a few dollars so these are really great and I use some of these blue flowers along with some of her pink and ivory flowers so I'll show you as we go here's this box I do have a mostly start to finish on this box um, except I did not film making of the box because this was not my idea I bought a uh, template from Katherine Krieger and I'll put her information in the description box below. I'm not positive she still has that, but um, she does sell the tutorial on how to make the box itself. And that was probably a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half or two years ago that, that I purchased that. And I love making these boxes. I, I think I made five when um, I got that tutorial. So I use the My Mind's Eye Lost and Found for this entire thing and it's an album in a box I added some feet to the bottom and I thought it went so well I didn't paint them I left them the natural color and here's that gorgeous lace I used some I was planning on using the double stranded pearl trim that she has but I didn't have enough to go around because this is another thing I've been using a ton of I love this so I used some that I had in my stash I used her cream cotton lace. Again, I used all of that up, so I love that. And on the front here, I added some handmade flowers that I painted in white just to tone the blue down a little bit since this paper is, is toned down. Uh, some handmade white flowers. And here's some of the pink flowers. I used the rest of those um, in that pack that I had. I added them to the center of these blue flowers. So I just took the center part out and added them. I love the way it turned out. Here is one of the um, charms that she has. I painted it white. There's a faceted button back there. I love adding a little bling to it. Here is that uh, doily that I showed you. Might be hard to see. I love tucking that behind flowers. And I added a few halfback pearls here, here, and here. Here's the key. 
I added a little bit of white paint to that as well and then wiped a little bit of it off. And then I added some, I believe they're Prima Sade in Pearls. So you open it up, a few more of those flowers to the corner with some of her mixed pink flowers in there. And here is the album. So it sits in this box. It's a paper bag album. And as you open it up, isn't that brilliant? I love this tutorial. I love this idea. I think it makes a great gift. So it's, again, paper bag. And on the front here, I use some of that trim with the bead, some of the pink flowers, I <laughs> flat back pearls that match the pink. On the other side, I use that white cotton lace, again, with that same iridescent trim in the middle. I added a bow and added one, one piece of the iridescent trim to that. I love how this looks. On this side, I left it blank because I love the paper, but I had a bow already made that looks like it went, went with this paper. So I added that here along with a black handmade enamel dot, or homemade enamel dot. These two are blank. These are great for, you can do several um, Instagram photos or a large photo, even a panoramic photo if you wanted to. And then with it being paper bag, you have quite a room to add some receipts to or more photos to. Each one has a pull out large tag and there's two per pocket and they both have design paper on them as well. And again, this, a, a little bit can be added. I wouldn't add too much because then the album won't close, but definitely photos add, can be added to this. I won't show you every single one, but it's all um, the same paper line. On this side, again, is this gorgeous paper. I added that last little bit of trim that I had left of the lace. This is a Webster's Pages cameo, flower cameo. This side I used that white cotton lace. This time I did not pleat it. I just left it flat with some iridescent and her ivory flowers. I just love those. This paper is so gorgeous. This here is an envelope that I left open so um, photos can be still placed behind this and I put a little Velcro closure on it and there are two little tags inside. One says happy and lucky. Next two pages, this one here is blank for a large photo. Look at that paper. And on this side, I used a flower that I had in my stash and two of the craft supplies, one um, roses, the ivory. I used a Tim Holtz ticket that says dream and I used half of a crochet doily in the back. And the last page, I used that flower bling on either end and I added a row of the pink flowers. So, and a photo can be placed here as well. So I hope you enjoyed. This was so much fun to make. And check out Julie's both Zibit and Etsy store and she's constantly running sales. So I will put the links in the description box below. If you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish, I will have that play now along with lots of detailed photos. Thanks so much for watching.